Hi everyone, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Well, speaking of celebrating and decorating, you guys, we've been extremely busy this summer wedding and event season. We have designed some beautiful weddings, baby showers, birthday parties, and everything in between. And so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a Princess Tiana birthday party that I designed for my niece. But if you guys haven't seen the previous videos with the glam, rustic glam wedding or the baby shower, I definitely want you guys to go and check them out because I really worked hard on those designs and I want this channel to be a resource for you guys to find inspiration and motivation as well as education in order to help get you through the next level. With that being said, you guys, here is the Princess Tiana birthday party. It turned out absolutely amazing. It was a very intimate party. And so I decided to put little flowers on the green floral chargers that I already had in inventory. I did challenge myself to create this party pretty much using everything that I had in inventory. And I only wanted to spend $100. So with that being said, I already had the linens and napkins um, and, and also already had the chargers. And um, I just added the little floral print sticker that I picked up from the Dollar Tree on the sides. And I did a mixture of faux and live florals and they turned out absolutely amazing. We also used the white kids shivari chairs that I picked up on Amazon. And if you guys are interested, I will leave that link down below so that you can check them out yourself. Now, speaking of Amazon, you guys, I don't know if you were able to join in on any of my Amazon lives from the month of July, but I really dropped a lot of gems in those lives. So I will also link the lives and the information down in the description box below. For the backdrop, we kept it really simple using a flower wall from rosemorning.com and we added wings on either side so that the kids could easily access the restrooms. Along the side wall, my friend Trey over at Trey's Balloon Bar did an incredible balloon garland to kind of take away from that industrial slash rustic vibe of the venue. Even though the venue was perfect, you guys, I definitely wanted to add a little color along the walls to kind of make things a little bit more kid friendly. Now, you guys know how much I love totallydazzled.com. I get all of my bling from there and we mix some pearls and some pearl and bling. Um, this was not really intentional. We actually lost our entire um, set of bling, silver bling inventory. Still not sure where it is. So I'll be getting some more soon, you guys. So we did mix up what we had or what we could find in order to create the total look. Now, you guys, when we go back to the centerpiece, one of the things that really stood out to me was that I wanted to have a tall standee. And I just didn't want any type of standee. I wanted one that was Disney approved. And so I purchased that life-size Tiana from Amazon, and it was extremely affordable. I wanted to also give you guys a close-up of this absolutely gorgeous balloon and how just adding that really added a pop to the entire space and it brought it all together beautifully. Now let's jump back to the backdrop. You guys, this life-size Tiana was everything. So if you're looking to purchase props and you want to purchase props on a budget, definitely check out Amazon and I will link everything that I use from Amazon in this party down in the description box below. The floral wall, as always, is absolutely gorgeous. I love Rose Morning. I love all of the dimensions in the floral wall because it really makes it look real. It looks like fresh flowers instead of faux flowers. And this is probably one of my favorite flower walls ever. 
And so you guys, that is basically all for the party. Those are the little stickers that I placed on every other charger that really gave it that, you know, extra oomph, especially with the greenery um, floral shaped chargers. I just think it looked, I thought it looked really great along with the kids shivari chairs that you can also pick up on amazon.com. Now, another thing that we did was we did this cute little um, trays and we added in custom snacks and I just absolutely love the way that those turned out. I got all of the little caddies from the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have such cute caddies this year. And we also picked up some pencil um, pouches and coloring books and activity books that we thought the kids would enjoy. Now, none of my parties are complete without a sweet area or dessert area by Rachel K. Designer Desserts. You guys, she did such an incredible job with the cake. Oh my goodness, I could have fainted. The color palette for this was pink, green, and yellow. And oh, they just, the treats look so royal and they meshed perfectly with the design. My niece absolutely loved it because she loves all things princess and girly and florally and so yeah it was just absolutely amazing check out the work on the cookies the macaroons were absolutely delicious as always so you guys that is the complete tour we did have a bouncy house outside if you guys want to see what that looked like with the balloons um, definitely check out my community and also my ig i will post more photos there and also, we ended up adding a 360 by my brother in love. Um, he does them, and we moved the desserts uh, to the front, and I just thought that looked really cute. And it also left space for the kids to take photos. So, without any further ado, I'm going to leave you guys with a little music for your listening pleasure. Okay, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that Disney Princess Party. I also want to remind you guys about Lux Academy. I do have an online certification program um, for event planning, event design, and event decor. Um, you can take it at your own pace, and then every so often, I do a mini mister where I take you guys through the entire process and um, help you with your homework in order to earn and I really put an emphasis on earn your certification in two weeks or less. So with that being said, I would like to welcome you guys also to my in-person classes where I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to design and decorate an event. Um, of course, we do have tutorials that are online, so don't feel like you're losing out if you're not able to attend in person, but you guys, there's nothing like the in-person workshop. So if you're interested, check it check us out at luxacademy.podia.com i will also leave that information down below if you are looking to become a lux academy student either online or in person so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave me a comment down below and let me know which aspect of today's party you enjoyed the most thank you guys so much for all of your continuous and unwavering support I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.